be honest, he hasn't endorsed a Republican since Romney. I don't think this moves any more voters than Hulk Hogan did. Yeah, but we have these undecided voters, right? We have these people that can't decide if they're going to vote or not. He's had a Republican since Mitt Romney. Yeah, I was like, who has been the nominee since since Romney? It's been Donald Trump. It's been Donald Trump. It's been Donald Trump for 100 years. I mean, he hasn't endorsed Donald Trump. He has not endorsed Donald Trump, is what you're saying. And not only that, he's been outspoken about the parallels that he sees between the MAGA movement and his childhood in Nazi-dominated Austria. He said explicitly, and you can... Smirk all you want. Uh, Go back and watch his own words on this network to Dana Bash that January 6th reminded him of Kristallnacht. And he issued a 12-minute video warning about the dangers of a hate-filled movement in March of 2023. I I think it's not a surprise, given who he has been and and the communities that he's embraced over the last several decades. And believe me, I disagree with Arnold Schwarzenegger on a lot of politics. But fundamentally, like he says, I'm an American first and a Republican second. And it's very clear to him who the choice is that can best give us an opportunity to become the country that he so loves. Yeah, and I would say as a a fellow immigrant, I'm also someone that chose America as my chosen country. Arnold Schwarzenegger is that too. And I think sometimes when you come to a country and you buy you know, the red, white, and blue, and the stars and stripes, and the people from anywhere can make it if they just work hard enough thing. You have this faith in American patriotism and and the the America that you love. And I would say I'm an American first and then I'm currently a Democrat. I think I'm a liberal. Um, And he's an American first and a Republican. And I think the thing is is that we can really see that this one character who we've now had, as we've said, for three different campaign seasons as the same figure for the Republican Party is just not what America is supposed to stand for. It's not the country he bought into and moved to. It's not the country I bought into and moved to. And I think it's a country that we really need to move from. That was all well said. It doesn't matter. At all, zero yeah, it's not well, but influence. It's a, it, but the message is so consistent across the board. It doesn't matter if it's coming from Here's... a celebrity or a, a, a four-star general or whatever it is. I mean, it's a pretty consistent message about what a lot of people from all different walks of life see as the future for this country under Donald Trump. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> no. I, look, I, I mean, I, I think you're talking about right now, again, on the average, which is unbelievable to say this, Donald Trump is leading nationally right now on average. A majority, or at wait, least a plurality. Based on, based on what based polls? On what based polls? on real clear politics popular, average. Popular vote or electoral vote? Electoral vote or popular vote? Popular vote, right now. I don't, I don't think national. we want to fight over over the. I think people should just polls. go check online, I, I think and we can get an answer. Fair, yeah. It's fair to say <laughs> that this is a race within the margin of error at the popular That's vote level. That's what matters at, at this point. At the battleground state level, to your point, that means it could go either way. But it can it can go either way. The point is, this. Arnold Schwarzenegger or Liz Cheney or anybody else that wants to make an argument against the MAGA movement or Donald Trump, that they're fighting against almost half the country. No, at but this if point. every celebrity came out for no, Donald Trump, nobody and every single nobody de- cares. Democrat Frank, came out for Donald Trump, me, want, nobody cares. Matter, the thing that struck me about Arnold Schwarzenegger's endorsement was actually not who he chose. Um, I, I think about when I read it, I, I'm reminded actually of, of my grandmother, uh, oddly enough. Um, who was born in 1918, a black woman. She was two years old when the 19th Amendment was ratified. She was 47 when the Voting Rights Act was uh, passed that guaranteed her vote. Uh, On Inauguration Day, she will turn 107. I think about the votes that she's had to cast in her lifetime, and at no point, at very rare points, has there ever been anybody that she fully agreed with, and there are probably two candidates that she was choosing between the lesser of two evils almost all of the time. Our vote is not a gift that we give candidates. Our vote is not a present that we present to them. It does not indicate that we agree with everything that they say. It is a strategic choice about whom we wish to have a fight about the future of this country. And I think what Schwarzenegger is saying and what most people are saying, and again, I would encourage everybody to watch the MSG rally, watch Trump's speech, and watch Kamala Harris's speech at the Ellipsis. Who do you want to have a fight about the future of this country with? And who do you think will allow you to have a reasonable argument, who will listen to your opinion and then do what they think is best, having consumed all of those opinions, and accept the results that as they are uh, as they are determined. I don't think anybody can reasonably say that about Donald Trump. He won't even accept the results of an election that he lost. Can I can I throw one more celebrity into the mix? But we, but because the message is really interesting. Listen to this. Mm. Come on, boys, let's make America great again. It's your turn, buddy. Before you cast your vote in this election, think about how it'll impact the people you care about the most. Daddy! Remember, you can vote any way you want, and no one will ever know. 
do your patriotic duty. You bet I did, brother. What happens in the booth stays in the booth. That's the voice of George Clooney. Well, but he's sending a message to yeah. a lot of white men uh, yeah. there. I mean, but very well-made commercial. A lot of people <laughs> might not know that that is his voice. Yeah. Uh, that's first. Secondly, you know, as a politician, certainly we take great joy in having <laughs> celebrities and famous people. I mean, I am a witness to that as a politician myself, and I was on two presidential uh, campaigns with Senator Bernard Sanders, and when celebrities came and we're, the crowd is going crazy, but it's really more to the faithful of that person than to the people outside. But it does make us feel good. You definitely feel good. Now, will it move one or two voters here or there? Maybe, maybe not. I don't, I don't necessarily think celebrities move voters at all. However, it feels good. Yeah. And you're the one There's a message, it. though, about yeah. the, the kind of quiet vote. Not... Sure. I, we've been hearing yeah. a lot about it when it comes to women. They're mm -hmm. trying to say there are, there are some guys out there. This might is be about the really fourth or commercial. fifth people don't need to know your vote um, yeah. ad that we're seeing. A lot of them are ar arranged towards women, and, and understandably so. Um, but I think it's like, what is wrong with your party if what you're saying is, don't tell anyone your vote, it'll be okay, secretly vote for the person you know is best, but don't tell your friends, don't tell your church group, don't tell your bros, don't tell your husband, because you're in danger if you do. I think it's a sad state of affairs that we're in a position where this is what we're doing.